Brothers, Macho Man Randy Savage here in effect, coming to you live with a brand new RC Boat Brother. Ooh yeah, it's the Macho Man, and I'm back with the new Pro Boat Jet Stream. Live, baby. It's summer. It's boat season. Well, it's the end of the boat season, but you know what I'm talking about, brother. Dig it. Oh, yeah. Come on, brother. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Cream will rise to the top. Pro Boat Mojo 2, or as we've got the Shreddy Edition here, Blake Wilkie. Yeah, brother. <sighs> Silver State RC Adventures. Macho Man doing another review here for you just because you know it's Hot Boy RC Summer up in this place. I was going to say another word, but I forgot kids are watching this channel. But if you're an adult, you know the word I was about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry rises to the top. Dang it. Yeah, brother. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, Trevor's locked away again today because, well, I locked him up because uh, he's not going to pro line by the fire this year. I am, so you'll just see me, Macho Man Randy Savage at Proline by the Fire, driving all my sweet trucks around, because Trevor is a nerd, and we don't like him anymore. He's so mean to me all the time, and I can take Macho Man, what are you doing? Ah, oh, oh my god, please don't, yeah, what are you doing? Ah, ah. Alright. Can anybody see me? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody see me? Oh my god, what am I doing? Welcome to Silver State RC Adventures! It's Trevor. Welcome. We're live. Oh. My. God. What are we doing? Holy smokes. I can't even see myself over here. We're recording and we don't even know what we're doing. Oh my god. These boxes keep getting bigger. I keep getting smaller. Huh. Boat day. Boat day! Everyone welcome to Boat Day! It's Trevor's RC Boat Day. Trevor's RC Boat Day. Pro Boat. Jet Boat. Shreddy. Blake Wilkie. Woo woo! Yee yee! Oh my god. You guys have no idea how excited I am. Maybe you do. I don't know. You can watch the video. You can hear Macho Man. We're all excited. Woo you brother. Shut up Macho Man! Sorry. Anyways. <laughs> Let's get this review going guys. I mean, oh my god. I've been, uh, I've been wanting another boat for a while. I've had that Traxxas Blast. It was boring. Small. And stupid. <laughs> That's why I never did any more videos with it. Boring, small, and stupid. Uh, don't waste $160 on a Traxxas Blast. Just go ahead and buy yourself a big boat and get it over with. It's going to be amazing. You're going to love the boat life if you like boats. All right, Pro Boat, Jetstream, 6 scale, 24 incher, Blake Wilkie Shreddy Edition. You know what it is. I've been waiting for this forever. I think the release date got pushed back like four times now. I don't know what Horizon is doing. Uh, but get it together, guys. Give us sweet RC vehicles already, because you guys have released some sweet stuff. We can't even get our hands on it, but I got my hands on this. And a Baja Ray 2.0. I just need that Pro Moto MX. Send me a Pro Moto MX, please. It would be awesome. Um, anyways, yeah, Pro Boat, Jet Boat, uh, details and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this is the, uh, front of the box. It's a huge box. Oh my god, box. We'll flip it down this way, and you can see me a little bit more. Can anybody hear me over there? I know, I got a lot of energy today, guys. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. A lot of energy today. But anyways, this boat's going to come in about uh, 12 inches wide. It says 304 millimeters back here. 8.9 inches tall, which is about 225 millimeters in uh, height there. And coming in at 24 inches long. Now this is showing from the tip of the boat to the back edge of the boat compared to where the Traxxas Blast claims to be a 24 inch boat. But it's from the end of the prop to the end of the uh, bow or stern or... I don't know these boat terms, but uh, the front of the boat, okay? Front of the boat, whatever. Whatever it is, boat people correct me in the comments section. We'll learn these terms later. Uh, yeah, but this one looks like it's actually claiming to say two feet in the actuality of being two feet from back to the front of the boat. So, cool. This would be an actual two-foot boat where Traxxas Blast is 21 and a half, even though it says 24, but the actual boat frame is like 21 and a half. The other two and a half inches come from the prop sticking out the back, which is ridiculous. 
Um, I don't know if there's like any other cool details to go over it, uh, but here it's gonna say like uh, jet stream. I know we can't see you, Trevor. We can't see you, but you we can hear me. Okay, you can hear my voice. Listen to my voice. <laughs> the six scale jet stream RTR brings to RC what the real kits bring to full size jet boating. The freedom to send it almost anywhere and the thrill of always coming out on top. With its sturdy, rigid ABS main hull and armor plated underside, this is the first RC jet boat built for bashing in water 2 inches or 200 feet deep. <laughs> Got my attention. <laughs> all, new, <laughs> all new features include a, uh, a reverse gate for realistic maneuvering and SSL strap slide lock quick battery strap system, or swap systems, not straps, but swap system, sorry. Two officially licensed liveries are available, both with bright front and rear LED lighting bars and a positionable pilot figure. The Jetstream is a fun for everyone. Push it to the limits and get shitty. You know what I'm saying? Freaking new RC jet boat day. New RC Jet Boat Day. Uh, some more details here. It's going to show you like some pictures of your boat and stuff. Uh, it's going to say Bash and Be Rad. Send your six scale jet or uh, send your six scale pro boat jet stream RTR almost anywhere. Downstreams and white water through rough water and jumps. It always comes out on top. This is the first RC jet boat built for bashing, bringing the same thrills to RC that the real jet stream kits bring to full size jet boat team. Be ready for anything with the raddest RC boat on the planet. I will concur. This looks like the raddest RC boat on the planet already. When they released this thing and showed that video, I was like, Good luck! Good luck! Oh, oh, the crazy white people! The crazy white boy in me needs it! The crazy white boy in me needs it! Oh my god! I need it! You know how we are. You know us crazy radical white people. We like to get on uh, machines and do crazy things. But yeah, then it's going to tell you that same info in like a bunch of other different languages, which we don't care about because this is America. Um, but yeah, anything on that side, that's just going to tell you which one you get. And then, let's see, was there anything back there? Probably not, probably not. Not nah, just more pictures of that boat. But yeah, maybe it don't tell you anything about your electronic systems, but we'll go ahead and get into those details here. Give me uno momento. I need to cut some tapo to unleash the top of this box because this is going to be the dopest review ever. Ever. <laughs> My goodness, big old box. Big old box, what you got behind that big old box? Blam, blam. All right. Here we can do this. Hey, uh, hey, uh, suction, suction. Kind of working like a gravity bong. Oh, oh that smells sweet in there. It smells like the ocean in there. They put like that. They put like ocean like scents in there or something like that. Kind of smells like it's been like in the lake already. That's kind of cool. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> um, it looks like I'm gonna have to stand up and get awkward on here for a second, cause oh my god, this thing is like, this thing is way bigger and just awesomer, holy smokes, than I thought it was going to be. Let's see how do we even get this out? <laughs> Hold please. Oh, just a little tape here. Okay. A little tape there holding that one. Okay. A little tape there. Okay. All right. And then we can take that nice little... Oh, is it... Oh, it's closed in. Okay. All right. All right. All right. This is going to be a fun one to open. But I just know that my boat was packaged very nicely, which is good. Just know that it came very nicely packaged. Alright, get all that going. Uh, no, because if we're going to have to pull all this out of it, yeah. Okay. Bear with me. I know. Staring at my chest. Oh no. Alright, so we get this. 
box out here that on the side, which is probably going to be your transmitter, if my guesses allow me to guess. This will be a... Uh, oh, cool, you get like a nice little uh, Pro Boat uh, neck strap for your remote. Oh, sweet, it's got an American flag. Oh my God, come with an American flag. Yes, America. All right. Yep, I know you can't see the boat. I don't want you to see the boat. You're not supposed to see my boat yet. But, uh, oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, Trevor so stoked, yeah, Trevor so stoked, yeah, you ever seen a stoked Trevor, have you ever seen a stoked Trevor, if you ever rode a Honda Grom with Trevor, then you know you've seen stoked Trevor, stoked Trevor, alright, how can we do this, oh my gosh, <coughs> There we go. No, no, no. That's already gonna go really bad all of a sudden. Please don't do that. Yep. Yeah! We win! Awkward review videos by Trevor at Silver State RC Adventures. Look at that bad boy. Oh my god, we're back. Oh, low. Oh, low. How low, man. Oh my go. Oh my go. Oh my go. Oh my go, man. Look at that, man. Look at that, man. Oh my go. Ooh. Oh, it's got like that nice felt material so you can. Oh. Macho man, you're going to be able to bring your, uh, you're going to bring, be able to bring your ladies on this boat. They're going to be able to like lay out on this nice foam material. They get to lay out on that in the sun and look pretty. Stuff. Blake Wilkie over here could do some driving for you while you and your ladies can like hang out. You know, he could put his hand up here and do that. This hand could just stay on the steering wheel because, well, I mean, what else is he going to do? Not drive the boat? Of course he's going to drive the boat, brother. I mean, Blake Wilkie, he's got to drive that boat. Look at that. So you can move this sweet hand up and down on the Blake Wilkie figure. You know, he could put his hand up here and be like, yeah, or you could probably put a beer in this hand. Yes. And then have him hold his beer like that as he's shredding through. Or, I mean, you can be square and drive 10 and 4, both hands on the steering wheel. That's boring. But, or you can drive it like that. Yee yee. You know what I'm saying? All right. But that is, oh my God, this thing's freaking huge. Real huge. Look at this. This thing is like large and in charge. Now I know why they're not going to have a, uh, a whole system where like if it flips over you know because this, this thing's not going to flip over this thing's a foot wide it is a foot wide <laughs> one foot wide all right it's gonna be two feet long and just 8.9 inches tall here you're gonna have a working led light bar in the front as well as one in the rear or well three little tiny ones in the rear there different colors one will be one will be red or two will be red and then there'll be like an amber one or two amber ones back there um, that will light up so that way people know what's in front of them. All right, you're gonna have your sweet jet propulsion system right here with the uh, nozzle that's going to uh, allow you to do some different maneuvers like reverse and all that other good stuff because it'll come down and the water will shoot and it'll shoot it under there. Um, some adjustable tabs over here. So you could probably do uh, all types of radical stuff. I think there is a, uh, we'll look in there. I think there is, uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like on this side there might be some adjustments for your uh, thrust nozzle here. Yep. yep, you can adjust the angle of your thrust so that way you can get different maneuvers and stuff out of your boat back there and stuff like that. I just kind of know that stuff from like jet ski life. Um, uh, but some nice, nice metal, uh, turnbuckles here for you to adjust these flaps down here to get different, uh, types of handling capabilities and maneuverabilities out of your jet boat. Um, it's going to have a plastic intake grate down here, which they do make an aluminum intake grate and impeller upgrade system to put in here, which I will probably be doing just because 
just because I do it, because I like upgrades, you know. Um, this deep V hole underneath here will be removable. It's gonna have a removable patch down here, so when you're doing all your jet boat bashing and ramping off of a uh, non-water material like rocks or sand or wood, concrete, whatever it is that you're gonna be jumping off of and hitting and brushing up against, uh, you know, this probably will get worn out and broken over time, so you will have the option to remove it and replace it with a new one, which is very, very, very cool to see. Um, you know, just this type of technology getting into boating now. Because boating has just been boating, you know, it's been your just high speed boats and scale looking boats for like military stuff or tugboats or other things like that, you know, like they've always just done boat stuff. But like now with the jet stream adventure boats and all that other stuff like that that have been out watching, you know, like, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, can't even think of his name now. I've uh, watched him all the time. I've got his shirts over here and everything and all that other stuff. Uh, but Garrett, Garrett, uh, oh my gosh, whatever. Can't even say the name. I'm gonna look ridiculous on this video, but you know what I'm talking about. Him and uh, every, you know Blake Wilkie, all their other, all their friends. They've got all these sweet jet boats that they've just been getting into trouble with and having shenanigan funs with. And uh, honestly, it just looks like so much fun that I really want to get one. But I need to live in a better place, probably for that type of stuff. I don't think uh, living in Southern Nevada. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have one. I didn't have to have to drive places. But yeah. Anyway, it's still cool to see this type of technology getting into boating for us. Uh, just. Watching these guys uh, in general, you know, are having a good influence on RC right now, which is making me happy because we're going to probably start getting a lot of cool RC products here soon. Um, as we've already are started to get some, you know, with the Baja Rays and, and this and uh, now the uh, Pro Moto MXs and stuff like that. So it's going to be uh, cool what the future is going to hold with uh, lots of other cool stuff like that. But yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's a few more things I could have put in the hashtags. So, oh, well, all right, we'll do it later. Uh, but yeah, not a lot of cool little stickers on here. Heat weight stickers, XCOM, Horizon Hobbies. This nice uh, foam material that's on the front, the back, and the uh, other back portion here for your step to get up onto the boat and stuff like that. The interior is pretty cool. Kind of basic, but then, you know, got the backing of the seats and steering wheel and dashboard. I mean, it's really all you need. Uh, I like that you get some LED light bars. Um, these are probably like speakers that, yeah, you know, speakers, yeah, which will do what they do. Um, oh, maybe I could put actual speakers in there. Yeah, because it's got, oh my gosh, good idea. We could do that. But yeah, no, that's cool. The exterior is looking real good there. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take this lid off back here. We can kind of check out the electronics. screwed on very tight there. Oh my gosh. Who put this on? He-Man? Sheesh. Um, do I have something I can use to get that off? Wow. on there <laughs> trying to find something I can like use to grip it better or something holy crap wow zer hers use one of these clean socks over here huh I'm gonna tear my fingers up trying to pull this metal We're not going to see the electronics, guys. Oh my gosh.
Wow, I look stupid. <laughs> it's 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 a magnet. It's magnetized. It just comes right off. Wow. Okay. That's fun. I'm not stupid, huh? I guess they should probably maybe kind of say something. <laughs> there you go, guys. You just learned uh, it's magnetized. Don't <laughs> you don't gotta sit there and turn that thing. But yeah. This will come in here. A little worried about my battery situation, how I'll get the batteries to work on there, but we're not too worried about it. Got the 4S batteries ready. Oh yeah. Yeah, it looks good in here. Now you're gonna have your uh, motor. Nice motor here. It's gonna have uh, the water cooling jacket sleeve thing, so it's gonna have a uh, Water circulating going around it, keeping it nice warm. All these nice spectrum electronics. We'll get a uh, we'll get a zoom in here in one second. But uh, I guess that's how you slide out that battery tray, and then it's gonna have some straps. Strap it onto here, and then you can go ahead and just slide the battery. I guess like right back in the place or something. I guess they're yeah. just like that. It'll go. Apparently, we'll see. Are there straps in here too for that or something? I don't see any. I don't see any battery straps in there. All right. I guess the battery just uh, this battery just sits on there. Right on. Right on, player. This all works out in the end somehow. We'll see. <laughs> got your servo there for the uh, angle of the dangle. You got your uh, other servo there for the actuator of the uh, nozzle here. That'll make it go down and up for reverse. Uh, the other servo here will turn for left and right. This over here will be a nice little waterproof sealed box. Your water cooling system over here, slash ESC, all that other good stuff. Get some water cooling on the ESC. Your lights, oh, your lights turn on and off with a switch right here. And so does, and then you got your receiver on and off button right here too, okay. But yeah, yeah, that was a good start right there. Hold on, give us one second, guys. And we'll get this camera brought over here for a little bit closer zoom this stuff, all right? All right, so here is a look inside of your electronics bay. You're going to have your uh, plug here for your IC5 batteries or EC5 batteries that will also be compatible with that. Um... You have your new battery box here. A little dark. Let's see if we can try and lift it up a little bit. Get a little bit more light in there, but that's going to be the battery box right here. A little pull tab will slide it out. And then slide it in. And it locks back into place. Your two servos. This will be your steering servo. This will be your servo to make reverse and other cool fun stunts. ESC water uh, waterproof box there. Your lights, the RX, the LEDs. ESC nice 4S capable motor. Some nice details up front there. Stuff like that. Good looking bow. Gonna be a good looking boat it is. Set that up there. And just look at it. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? Yeah. Well, this will be the nice little magnetized cap that goes on there. Yep, there 
there's that. I'm going to get a little baggie here. manual, a nice Pro Boat sticker, and American flag with a buying plug in that bag. This one will give you a nice little lanyard, Pro Boat lanyard. Very cool. Very cool. Mojo 2, shreddy. Nice. And it's even a bottle cap opener right there. Sweet really thought of everything on that one. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Shreddy life. Shreddy life. There we go. Mojo 2 and the shreddy life. There you, go. you got a bottle opener with your lanyard. Hold your remotes. I don't know what else you need. Jet room adventure boats. Um, and this will just go through telling you your process, how to put batteries in your remote, how to get everything all going. Yeah, it's showing straps for that tray, but I don't see any Velcro straps. Are they supposed to supply you with Velcro straps? Because I don't have any in my boat. Uh, replacement parts, optional parts that are in there for you. Uh, troubleshooting guide, it's got warranty infos. Uh, and then it's just gonna go right into other languages of all that other stuff already, I guess. get at least one little diagram in there about like how at least the, the routing and the working of the water cooling system works in there and things like that a little explanation of stuff but like for the most part not too much detail so yeah. Yeah, whatever placing the armor plating tells you uh, quite a bit of screws <laughs> quite a bit of hardware for that all good you gotta do it, you gotta do it. You bash it hard or don't bash it hard. Your choice, whatever you wanna do, you know? You wanna break your boat, break it. If you don't, don't. Bash boat. If you break it, you used it. tray with velcro straps and batteries for your remote okay that makes more sense your actual remote this is going to be your boat stand oh cool okay i was curious if it was going to give you a boat stand it does give you a boat stand now we don't have to use i mean nothing wrong with this but it takes up a lot of space Still, uh, I was gonna kind 
kind of hope so. I guess I don't really need to worry about that battery situation that I was going to hide. I hope it was going to be the uh, one with the uh, battery life on there, but I uh, guess not. It's just a good old SLT3. Good old SLT3 with your A and B button up and down, your steering remote, your throttle, steering trim, you know. That's it. Uh, power button on the back, steering reverse, throttle reverse, uh, 50, 75, 100 percent powder, your button hair. I wonder, well, maybe you can put a switch on to hook the lights up. That way you can turn the lights on and off with that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, you know, just a little basic battery. Uh, maybe I might hook it up to my rugged. Who knows? Get more out of it. I'll be able to use the uh, the battery life usage thing with jigger. But all right, yep, yeah, here's that for all that. Cool. All right, that's all you get in that box there, which is pretty much all you're going to need for all the fun you're ever going to want with a bash boat. Oh my god. Got a little bash boat. It's boat day. It's boat day, boat day, boat day, boat day. Now the nephew saw the nine inch jet boat they make. Nephew wants the nine inch jet boat, so we'll get him that. And then we'll get him a Team Associated MT-14 uh, bash truck. And that way he can do everything he needs with Uncle T now. Uncle T's got his 24 scale crawlers all set up. He just needs a uh, bash truck and a boat to come out and join me. And it will be Silver State with Sebastian RC Ventures. <laughs> But yes, uh, thank you for watching this portion of the review video. We're going to get some runtime and some uh, thoughts after driving the boat. So stay forward for all that information. Thank you for watching this first half of the Jetstream 24 inch 6 scale RTR jet boat.
what's going on guys welcome back to the uh, last portion here of the uh, unboxing review of your pro boat jet stream 24 inch six scale uh, jet boat got to drive it yesterday must say this thing is awesome <laughs> this thing is way awesome uh, holy smokes, I put it in the water, powered it on, punched it, off it went. Super awesome. Oh my gosh, loads of fun. The, uh, just the responsiveness in the steering, uh, under throttle, of course, when, you know, with a jet boat, you're going to need to uh, steer using your throttle while steering as well, because that's how you're going to get the thrust to get the back end to turn around and do what you do, but, uh, you know, it's... It's going to be really cool for you to modulate the uh, the throttle and the steering to get it to like whip and do all different kinds of like cool stunts in the water where you know you're like doing little donuts or whipping it and jumping through your own wakes and stuff like that and just like right away you just get a feeling of what life is going to be like with this sweet bashing styled uh, jet boat that uh, Pro Boat was going after with this release here and it's not going to disappoint um you know if you're a basher this is going to be right up your alley if you've got uh cool creeks and ponds and rivers and lakes and other cool areas to play around it that you know you can like jump it off of like other dirt mounds back into the water or like you know just other things you can use to jump like swampy stuff or wakes and everything like that that you would go online and see people doing in their actual real jet boats in real life you can do with this thing um man it's just it's cool. I can see why now you're not going to need uh, like a self-writing feature on this because this coming in at a foot wide and being pretty flat down there um, in the water, it I was doing all types of whips and flipping and diving into the water after coming through, like making some wake and diving in and under the water. Like it, it doesn't flip over. It's you know going high speed and just all of a sudden just turning it. It would just flick it into this like flat spin and keep going and won't even flip it over. So, uh, you know, you're not gonna really have to worry about this flipping over and not having a self-writing feature because it's gonna be pretty much non-existent for you. Uh, you're not gonna flip this thing. If you do, you probably did something pretty crazy and high five to you. So, you got that to uh, really just look forward to uh, not or knowing that, you know, you don't have a self-writing feature that this boat's not gonna tip over out there in the water. It's gonna be dang near impossible. Um, and the, uh, the power system too, you know, with the electronics, uh, the, the 100 amp, uh, Marine ESC and the 1600 KV, uh, motor, uh, using a Spectrum 4S, uh, 100 C battery with 5,000 milliamps. Uh, I got about like, uh, probably in be somewhere between like 30, 45 minutes of runtime on a full charge. And, uh, yeah, it's just plenty of power. Plenty, plenty of good little power there, uh, you know, for what this is going to need on the water. Uh, it w was a little choppy at some time, at some points in the water, so, like, it was kind of, like, skipping. And, but, you know, it is what it is. It's a jet boat, and plus it's really cool, so, you know, I mean, really need something crazy fast. Sorry, I'm kind of rubbing myself a little bit right here. I got tore up by some mosquitoes <laughs> at the lake yesterday by the, uh, by the communities and stuff like that so uh yeah you know just really good power you'll be happy with 4s uh i think it says you can do 2 and 3s as well um uh, just go 4s man don't even worry about it 4s you'll have a lot of fun with this already so you know plus it's not really that fast um i think it's going to be maybe somewhere upwards about like 20 25 miles an hour it'll kind of look like on the water there which is plenty fast for something like this on the water to do stunts with and and just zip around and have a good time so, yeah, don't really quote me on the speed, but just by looking at it, it kind of gave off a 20, 25, maybe a little bit faster, maybe somewhere between the 20 to 30 mile an hour zone. Um, so, cool, you know? Uh, the rear uh, lid back here, that magnet's on, didn't really have any issues with that popping off or anything. Um, the way it's sealed and layered, or you know, channeled and everything for how the lid goes on, no water got in there. 
Um, I didn't have any issues with water getting in anywhere else, except for maybe just somewhere back here on the inlet area, and there was just like a few drops in there. And uh, that was it. Um, there was actually like a little uh, plug back here, right off this turnbuckle here. There is a rubber piece attached, and you can pop that thing off. Now you got a drain. For any water that will come out, you've got that right there to let it escape. Um, will look ridiculous later putting it back on, but yeah. And then uh, this red portion here to come over the thrust nozzle to do like some cool maneuvers or just go into reverse. On your remote here, you're gonna hit down on the V channel right here and that's going to bring it up and back or down and then back up uh a didn't do anything it looked like so it just looks like b will be the button you push to make it go up and down for reverse and things like that uh which was <laughs> which is a little learning curve there because i was like oh why does it why doesn't that thing go down when i put it in reverse you know i'm sitting here hitting like reverse up here but i think it's more of like a break or Something like that, because it really wasn't doing anything. I was like, oh, okay, it just kind of like stops the boat. But then I was like, oh, let me click this real quick, because it is attached to a servo. So then all of a sudden I saw that come down and it stays down. And then you click it again and it comes back up. So that way, you know, maneuvers or whatever. Maybe I'll try pushing and holding on A like that to see if like it comes down and then comes up when, like when you release it. So if you just need to do something like fast on the fly compared to like, you know, having to lock it down. But yeah, that's, that's how you'll uh, actuate this is off that third channel button that I didn't know what it did earlier in the unboxing portion of the video. So now we know what it does. <laughs> but yeah, that's all good. Um, you know, everything was just, everything worked as it should. I don't really have any complaints about how anything was. Um, getting it out of the box, kind of uh, going by the, the camera there a couple times for you. I nicked it up against some rocks, but you know what? It, it took it. No problem. Just a little scuff, that's all. Nothing wrong with having a scuff on your uh, bash boat. But yeah, I can definitely say that uh, you will be thoroughly impressed with this. The, uh, the quality, the drivability, the handling, the fun factor, the, the looks, the performance of the lights at night look really good on that lake. It was awesome. You get this cool scale American flag with a flagpole right there with, uh, you know, faux speakers right there uh, to give it a cool look. You know, it's it was awesome. <laughs> I was having a lot of fun. I was having a lot of fun. You'll see here, um, you know, you probably got about like maybe five minutes of video. I wanted to get more, but, you know, I was just having, a, having fun. And then we'll just get some more runtime video guys for you later uh, because uh, I will be driving it a lot more. I just be I got to go to Pro Line for the Fire this weekend, so I don't know if we can get any more videos by then because I will be leaving Friday morning or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. But uh, we'll be there over the weekend. So if you're at Pro Line for the Fire, come say what's up. And if you're watching this video, to even realize that I'll be there, thank you for watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know that's just really my thoughts and appreciation of this awesome thing right here. It's super fun, super scale, super, just super great. <laughs> Buy one, get it. You're going to enjoy this thing, especially if you got a lot of water by your house or if you don't and you don't mind making a drive to go to some water by your house or in your area-ish if you know how far of a drive it is for you, whatever. I'll try it out. This will be a great purchase. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. Um, I can tell you that much for sure. <laughs> we were, we, me and my buddy were giggling like little schoolgirls over this thing. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. Thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, you know, just for other more random shenanigans and everything else like that. Random videos, runtime videos, uh, reels, and all the other cool stuff on the YouTube's and the Instagrams. And uh, like I said before earlier, we'll see you at Pro Line by the Fire this weekend if you're going to be there. But uh, thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe, and all that other great stuff, the content, and we appreciate you here at Silver State RC Adventures. Till next time, see you out on the trails, my friends. It's just a laid back vibe, baby.